Hey guys, TTK2 here. Today, we're going to be showing you how to use some of the plugins on our server. First off is LWC. LWC is our protection plugin. It lets you protect stuff. Now, you can protect doors, iron or wooden, as well as fence gates and trap doors, as well as any item with an inventory, except for the new potions items. So, all these commands work on all protectable items, Oh, which also includes signs, by the way. So, if I place a door, type forward slash C public. This is the lowest level of protection. It means people like Lightning here will be able to open and close and interact with the item. For example, if I C public the chest, Lightning would be able to open and close the chest and take stuff out of it. But what he cannot do is break it, be it a chest or a door. So we could watch him sit here for quite some time, but he's never going to break the door. Now, let's say you want a little more privacy. That's when you use C private. But first, C, you need to use C remove to remove a protection on any item to change it. Then C private makes a private protection. Now lightning here cannot open this door. And if this were a chest, he would not be able to open the chest etc. for all the other items. Now, if Lightning would step out of the way, you see I can still walk through this door. And he can walk through the door if you leave it open, so keep that in mind. He can't close it either. Now, chests are automatically private. If you want to make them public so that people like Lightning can interact with them, you use C remove to remove the protection and then C public. Now, let's say you want lightning to be able to get into your chest, but you don't want Breako to. Now, that is when you use C password. C password works like this. You type C password and then your password. In this case, it's one, two, three. Now, you always have to right click your block to apply your new lock. Now, Lightning can get in and access the chest since he knows that the password is 123. But Breko over here, who has no such knowledge, won't be able to do much. Now, finally, for one last little trick. Let's say you needed to let Breko into a chest, but you don't want to have a password that's when you can do something a little fancier than normal. First of all, you do C private. Whoops. Now once you've done C private, you use a special command called C modify. Now, the way it works is C modify at and then username. Now, you see, I can open the door, Breko can open this door, but Lightning can't. Now, this also works for chests, dispensers, and whatever else. This way, you can let more than one person interact with something without a clunky password and still keep it secure. Now, that's LWC for you. So, next up is one of our custom server plugins, and this is prison bed. Now, prison bed has nothing to do with beds, so don't let that confuse you. How you use it is first you build a prison. We would suggest making it out of obsidian, since along with prison bed, we have a mod called tough obsidian, which makes it impossible to destroy obsidian with anything that's not diamond. Now you see, I'm in creative mode right now, and even I can't destroy obsidian without diamond, just respawns. Now, so how you use this is so you go into your little prison, type forward slash pb set. Once you type pb set, you're primed. When you're primed, the next person you kill will spawn right where you were standing when you typed pb set. So, for example, if I were to walk outside and kill lightning here, he is now stuck inside of the prison. Now, you're going to want to see private this door, of course, so that he can't break it. Now, keep in mind, when you're building prisons, 
if a person manages to get their hands on any blocks, let's say dirt or sand, they can obstruct their spawn and then kill themselves by hopping around until they starve or having someone else kill them, at which point their spawn will be obstructed and they'll end up up here, effectively escaping your prison, which is not what you want, obviously. Now, you see, we forgot to private that door, so Lightning's escaping, and he fell off the cliff. That's unfortunate for him, but as you see, his spawn will still be in the prison until he goes and sleeps in a bed, at which point his spawn will be reset. So that's pretty much it for prison bed, other than um, once you're primed, if you disconnect, you lose your primed status. So if I were to use PB set, then disconnect and reconnect and kill lightning, then I would not change his spawn. Now on to our last and most complicated plugin, Physical Shops. Physical Shops lets you buy and sell items from chests when you're offline or somewhere else on the server. Now, there's something very important you need to know for Physical Shops, and that's all the currency codes. Currency codes are what you use to tell the shop what sort of item you're going to buy things with. Right now, we're going to use iron in our example since it's the most common currency. So, to make a shop, drop a chest, and chests are automatically private, and for shops especially, you want to leave them that way, otherwise people like Lightning here would just come up and steal your iron, or whatever you were selling. After you've placed the chest, you want to place a sign directly above it, and format the sign exactly like this. What's on each line is important, and it won't work unless it's formatted correctly. First off, you want surrounded by brackets the item you are selling. Now, you can either use the name of the item, or the item ID number, which you can find on the Minecraft wiki page. On the second line, buy, one, four, two I. Now, what that means is that you buy one stone sword for two iron. And then, on the next line, you can have sell, one, four, two I. When you click done, if the plugin worked, then you should say TTK2 or your name on the bottom of the sign. Now, if you make a sign and it doesn't say your name on the bottom, then you messed up somewhere and you want to try again. So, you need to stock up your shop with the item in question and a little bit of iron. So, now people like Lightning up here can walk up and right click on the sign and he buys a sword, just like I'm going to do. Walk up, right click with the currency in hand, and you get your sword. And then you can walk up and right click with your sword in hand to sell it. Now, this works for any item. And if you just want to buy, you just leave the second line blank. If you just want to sell, you leave the third line blank. Now, I know that those lines say buy and sell, and it sounds like I got it backwards. But you have to think backwards when you're selling items, because the signs are designed from the customer's perspective. So when you're making them, what you're buying on the sign, you're selling, and what you're selling on the sign, you're buying, since it's from the customer's perspective. Keep that in mind. So, let's say I wanted to sell for diamond. I would do buy one for 2D, and then it would cost me two diamond to buy this pathetic stone sword. Probably not a good idea. Some other basic tips are to always make sure you sell for less than you buy. Otherwise, people can make money just coming up and getting all of your stuff. And you probably don't want to buy at the same rate you're selling for. Otherwise, there's really no reason to use your shop. Well, thanks for watching our videos, and I hope this helps you use all of our plugins. Thanks to Breco and Lightning.